Hi guys, welcome back. I'm glad you could join me today. I've been busy, so, you know, life happens and stuff like that. So I figured I'd get on here and hang out with you guys for a minute and say, hey, what's going on and all that fun stuff. So, but like always, if you like what you see and are entertained and you want to see more by all means hit a subscribe button or if you really like what you see you know give it a thumbs up and be like hey do some more and if you want to have every questions you know just leave a comment and by all means i'll get back at you so <clears throat> but hey let's get started right okay i have nothing planned for today all i'm doing is getting ready to go have lunch with them tonight so, just prepping my place and my heart was a complete disaster, so I've been trying to get it to do some things, right? Who needs one of those roly polies when you just go like this and stretch your face? Yeah, just like so. Mm -hmm. So, what I just put on my face was. From Ipsy. I mean, it's very creamy. I like it. It's a luminizing face moisturizer. It's alright. You know, whatnot. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to style my hair. And as of right now, I have this in my hair. After I did some quick dry shampoo with this one. That, this is a very good one. Rockaholic. It's by Bedhead. And it's the Dirty Secret Dry Shampoo. Good one. <clears throat> so, all I'm trying to do is just take, like, but my hair wants to be difficult. I just wanted to take, like, a half section of my hair, like so. Oh, I might try to go like this one. Just give it a few twisty twos. And then I have this little clip here I'm going to put in my hair. And yes, it is little because it came with a friend. And this is its friend. So yeah, it's little. I think we're going to stick with this one. Because it looks pretty cool. Fix it there. My hair's going to be blown in the wind, probably. You know, blah, 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 and voila. See? And if I don't like the hairstyle later on, take it out, and I can use a clip and do something different with it. Because I have nothing in my hair. Yeah. Just a little twisty woo. And I just put that down at the exact twist. And voila. You can fix it however you want. It's so cool, huh? Yeah. I thought so. Alright, so hey. Let's get to doing what you came here for. So, I have nothing, like I said, in mind. Maybe one new mascara. But that's about it. <clears throat> so, oh, and since we are doing going out and seeing people today we're going to use normal makeup but all at the same time it's going to be relatively you know what that's what i'm gonna do i don't know i was trying to find a hair sorry okay here i am ta-da all right I already put my face stuff on. I already put my eyeball stuff on. So now I'm going to put e.l.f. liquid primer on. And put liquid putty primer. Because I did try their uh, putty primer. And I loved it. So now I was able to get some of their liquid primer. It's basically the same. It's just... It does, in a sense, maybe...
it does help. Sorry, went to my mirror. It does help with the large pores. So, oh, and I have not been using my red because I have went to the store and bought any. So, I'm using what I have. This is a color corrector bright under eye stick by Pixie. You can actually pick these up at Target. Um, they're relatively cheap. So there's that. And I just have any thing wrong with my face. I just put it on and it legit covers it up. As long as it's not like horribly bright red, then it's okay. So since I don't have my red, which is by LA Colors that I picked up just like this one at the dollar store, and I haven't been down there to get it yet, <clears throat> so I'm using this. It's uh, Ol Henriksen. It's a Banana Bright Vitamin CC stick. Um, I got this through Ipsy. Uh, it is a high end, so I. It's what I got right now. And I just put some on my eye. And my eyes are really dark today for some reason. So I'm just going to kind of color my whole eyeball. But I am using my KVD Medium 129 concealer as well. Yes, I put three products on my eyeballs. But did you see how dark they were? Yes. If they're that super dark, by all means. But here's where the bad part is that I'm doing. So I haven't washed this and it still has some red on it. So yeah. I just blend it in. Like so. And I take another one, and I blend it around my nose. And then the imperfections I have on my face. Like so. So then I'm going to take my KVD brush. 10. And use my KVD Good Apples Foundation Serum in 033. It's a horrible one. I'm so glad you guys get educated and possibly entertained all at the same time. We'll see how this works. You can always add more, but once you add more, you can't take away. So just, there's that. And I just plop it around my face. And voila. And then I blend it in. This foundation is reason reasonably because I was sick and tired of spending fifty dollars on foundation because that's basically how much the foundation was using before this one. And I'm like, no, that's not happening. I want something that I don't have to spend an arm and a leg on. So then I found this and it is so reasonably cheap that I, you can buy it at Ulta and or Sephora, whichever you shop. Um, so there's, you know, you do have to still go to the makeup store or whatnot, but it's not an arm and a leg. And then you just, you know, go over some... more or whatever you need, you know. Yeah, and you saw how dark they were? Right. So, <clears throat> I'm 
I will say though, around regular price, I believe these are hanging out around like the $80 price range. Unless there's a sale. But yes. So I'm trying to be frugal today for you guys. Because I know I do use a lot of high-end product, but that's all because I get them from Ipsy. I would never ever buy any of this product. And in fact, I only try half of it once and I never buy it again. <clears throat> for my brows, this is I'm not quite sure where it hangs out. I would probably say $20 price range, which I'm after it's empty, I'm not buying anymore. I will go on to the next. Um, yes, it's pink lips in brow, it's browed up soft black. It is very thin. It's got stars. It is so cute. You know, obviously the spooling. And all I do, I'm going to look over here for a moment and try to stay within the camera for you guys. I, you see my brows. I have decent brows, right? Oh, can I do this? Oh, this. Yeah, that's not happening. All right. Ha ha, look at that. So I just whack and do this one. That's okay because it wipes off. So yes, I just kind of fill it in and then I brush it to make it look, you know, decent. And if I have any oopsie doopsies, which you can't really tell. Hmm. Well. Okay. On to the next. I just kind of follow the outline of my brow. I don't add any fluffy to it. I don't add any extra lines to it. And I just come inside the line. You know, and then give it a brush. Make sure it looks, you know, they're sisters, not twins. That's what I was taught. And every once in a while, I can get them. But then, you know, I always got to go back and play with them. So then this also helps. So then I'm going to use it. Bye Bye Under Eye. This is the only thing. I use two different colors. This one's 25.0 medium natural. The other one is a little darker. I'm going to say it's 25.5. But this one seems to work better. So I just use this one. So then, you know, under eye, all gone. And you see the difference? I mean, yes, it's shiny or whatever. I mean, you can still tell it's there, of course, because I have extreme dark under eyes. So then I can just take this and where I've wiped away all the makeup and highlight my brow at the same time. And if it gets a little too messy, just take your foundation contraption brush. I used to use one of the... To me, that feels like it's just pounding into your clog clogging your clogging is you're pounding it into your pores if i can talk right that would be fabulously great but i'm not this game i'm so sorry <laughs> anyways so 
ラリラAnd so, sorry, I got real quiet. I was concentrating. I know you like that. All right, so now that's done, and that's done, and that's done, and that's done. So now, on to the next. I'm using my Wet n Wild loose setting powder in translucent. Yes, translucent. It was like seven, eight bucks at the buy this at the dollar store you can probably buy it at uh your local grocery store um i get it at my work um probably find it at, like target or meyer or walmart or wherever it is you do shopping i'm using my farah 50f brush just you know fluffy brush all you need nothing you know extravagant but just don't do that <coughs> <coughs> I didn't tap it off good enough so then I end up wearing it oh yes I wear it <coughs> you tap it off a little more there we go see that's so much better I'm like, what the heck? That was weird. Alright. So now, my it's a concealer buffer brush. I know that. And I just use that. To fill in. To make my eyes hidden even more. Is I see that? Ta so then I've been using for my contouring and my blush and you know all that fun stuff. Yeah. So for my contour, I have been using L'Oreal. True Match and Lumi Bronze It. I found these. They're great. I don't know why I didn't know they existed before. Oh yes, because I get makeup elsewhere. But you can buy these at Ulta in the L'Oreal section because Ulta sells drugstore makeup, which is awesome. This was for the summertime because this is a medium. So I'm like, that's really, really dark. So now I've been using this light one. And I just have a contour brush. Nothing too spectacular. As you can see, I have been using it. Make funny faces. And 
in any way you see. And sunglasses will probably end up being my hair accessory too. So maybe, I don't know, we'll see. <clears throat> so anywhere you see, make a funny face. Anywhere you see the dark, you know, that's where you want to hide. And under here, and under there, yes. Cheekbones, your nose, anywhere the sun would hit, bam. Right? Pardon, I just dropped my blush brush. Better be back up. Ta-da! Okay, so now I'm also using KVD Fox Glove 20 everlasting refillable blush yes it is refillable there's a little hole right there you pop the pan out and voila it's just a very light pink you know nothing too extravagant so ta-da there's that and then hmm I don't know. I guess we'll use this one. This is my Fenty one. Um, find a highlighter that works for you. This one has worked for me. It's Mohoney. Um, obviously, it's worked for me. You like that? Upper part of your cheeks. And however it is. That works for you. Make more funny faces. Just so you know, just up a part of your cheek. Put as much as you want on. But remember, once it's on, you're glowing. You know, and so. Um. Hmm. We're going to use this one. My friend bought it for me. Um, I believe it come off at Amazon or something of that nature or at five below or, you know, something that it's called. You can be, it's their luxury gathering palette. I've used this before. We're probably going to use different colors or whatever. Um, yes. Whatever color you want, it's there for the most part. It's, mag it's magnificent. I love this. It, I love this palette. Sometimes the cheapest is the bestest. So I'm going to use one of my fluffy brushes. Fluffy, fluffy brushes. Just, it's a, uh, this one's Miss Glam SS57. It's missing its little rhinestones. Um, and these aren't labeled because obviously it's, but these two colors here, I've you been using for my crease, and we're gonna dip it into the dark one today because I I'm gonna go dark today. And always, if it's too dark, you can always take a really light color and put on there. Like so. And then I'm going to take my eye primer. You can use any eye primer you want. Elf has really good eye primer. I know that. Mine's Beauty Crop stuck on you. It's the same one I've been using forever. But I've started using a concealer brush. This is a concealer brush. <clears throat> it's so much easier than like dipping my finger in because half the time my fingers have nails and it just gets underneath it. And then, yeah, no. So, there's that. I've been trying to debate on what colors I want today. But 
I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna try something. I'm 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 so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this brown here and I'm going to put that on my eye. And then I'm going to take this purplish sparkly color here and I'm going to put it over top of it. And we're going to see what happens. But I'm going to put it over top of it only in the corner. Just roll it with me. I've been experimenting with so many colors because I'm just like... I do realize that there's some colors that don't work. Like pinks and pinks usually I mean I can get some of them like mobs maybe to work or something but yeah yes I'm putting it over the entire lid which is okay oh yes this brush that I'm using is a small brush it's got a fluffy blendable tip on it this is i don't know who it's by but it's a pigment packer brush is what it's called so and then i can always come back and get you a fan brush to brush off the access because the access is just i just i don't know i don't like the access so all right so there's that so now I'm going to take this brush, which is, give it a dusting right quick. It's a, I don't, it, it's a fair brush. That's all I know. So I'm going to put it in that purplish color right there. Yeah, the purplish. Put it on the outside maybe. We'll see what happens. Oh, yes, I can do that. Mm -hmm. It's almost black. All right, well, there's that. So then, I'm gonna take my finger. Actually, we'll use this one. And we're gonna put it into this red color right here. And I'm just gonna put some right here. You like what happened to that brown? It's okay, brown was just the background. Wow. I'm just experimenting and you guys are coming with me. So then I'm going to take my crease brush. I have a couple few eye crease brushes. I do have, this is an elf eye crease brush. So it's a little more. And I'm going to use this color up here, this little to put on the inner corner of my eye like so <laughs> wow yeah walk with me down this lane so then for the under eye I'm just going to dip it back in that brown and then I'm going to line my bottom line So then I'm going to take my other eye crease brush. It's got a little more of a pointy end to it. And I'm going to put it in this highlighting color down here. And I'm going to highlight my brow with it. 
and probably the inner corner, the far inner corner of my eye. Right here. And sometimes if it's not bright enough, you know that highlighter that you just used? You can go back in. See, that's not. So that highlighter that you just used, you can take your brush and look at that. Voila. So there's that. So for my, yes, I'm KVD in it up today. I have the Tattoo Liner by KVD in Trooper Black Liquid Eyeliner. It's got a really long tip. This is the minis because I got it for free, I believe, when I ordered one time. And it goes on very, very awesomely. And with it being so small, it's like I have complete control. It's great. So then for my waterline, yes, I'm using, once again, Trooper Black KVD. But this is their gel pencil. And it's retractable. And I just put it on my waterline, like so. For my mascara today, we are going to use Wet n Wild. I forgot my mascara one day. I was looking for a cheap one, and this came to me. It is Wet n Wild Mega Volume Waterproof Mascara. Right? Wet and wild. It's got like a, it's almost like a twisty. Let's take some of that excess off of there. But yeah, it almost looks like it just like twists. And I just put it on, try not to put it in my hair. Blink, wiggle, sideways, however you put it on to make it look right. Right? That's all that matters. See? Like so. So I don't have to wear fake lashes because I have long eyelashes Voila. And then I'm taking my concealer blender brush and I have a pressed banana powder by Ofra. Maybelline has a great one too. And I just put it under my eye as the last thing before I put on my setting spray. Which this is by Ace Beauty in this bottle. I just like how the bottle sprayed. Morph has a really good one as well as Elf and Wet n Wild. So there's that. Um, so yeah, that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves and got entertained and maybe learned a thing or two. So um, I guess I'll catch you later. Bye.